I want to get that. Could you talk? Were there anything? Was there anything in the process of rehearsals that really surprised you about the play or about the themes that you didn't think about when you started, and it just kind of came up during the course of rehearsals? Um, I never actually realized that there were laws set against black people. I always thought they were just sort of how they convinced and unfit to live with. And um. I, d I didn't know that until I really started going into play and started researching all that stuff, and I, that was a big surprise to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I really like when I it, when we got into the process of rehearsal. I really felt I really dug deep in the, into the character and also into the whole the whole show, the whole everything. I just, it, it really it really hit home. Like, really yeah, I uh, I read the book and stuff, but um, I never really I got this perspective from the show. I never really thought of like um, Sean or Tom Robinson as a mockingbird, so to speak, in the show. Um, he kind of represents the mockingbird, and they, they kill him, and so it's really um, I never really taken that perspective before on uh, the book. Huh. What about the adult actors? Any surprises for you? Uh, myself. I mean, growing up as a black man, you know, you go through emotions. I mean, uh, as I passed by, I had a couple experiences here in Seattle. I mean, I'm sure everybody here is lovely and warm and caring. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I get profiled, you know. I have the feeling of eyes watching me because I'm different. But I wish people would just take time out to just listen to them, talk to them before they judge, have preconceived notions of somebody, you know. I remember there was a, one event where uh, Bish and I and Lelaine went to uh, see Joseph Singh play Carponia. And the guy asked for my ID. Of course, I have a baby face. I look young. What? <laughs> right. And he said, so I gave him my ID. And he also said, oh, can I see your back? Now, I knew the situation, what was going on. You know, I just complied and I opened my bag and I showed it to him. And Bish and Willane had bags also, but he didn't ask. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. So I understand the racism, I understand that aspect. And I loved going through this play, playing Tom Robinson, to show what I go through every day, mm -hmm. uh, to share with you people. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear this? What I learn, and what I'm learning every night, uh, is actually I've been uh, practicing this craft, or art, what you will, for a long time, maybe 25 years or so. Uh, but what I'm learning every night, I'm learning from the children about how to play. And it's remarkable. They are all wonderful. And Kaz talked about the immediacy, that everything is absolutely fresh and new. And um, it's, uh, I was nervous about playing with kids. That they, they warn you, don't act with children and animals. <laughs> I've learned things about race. Race has been an issue in my own life since I can remember. Um, I was a little boy, maybe five years old, the first time I met a black person. And I didn't notice the color of his skin. I was five. I noticed that he had hair I'd never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I grew up in the 60s and I'd never... <laughs> 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 to look back on that time and realize that there was a time when, um, and we teach it out of our kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time when I didn't even see it. I just wanted to touch that great hair. <laughs> and now, um, and, and then I moved from that point in my own life to a, um, a time, I grew up outside of D.C. in the suburbs just outside the Beltway, and there were busing kids from D.C. out to my schools to try to give 
the idea, I suppose, was to give them a better opportunity by sending them to a white school. And it was, a, a, you know, it was tremendously tense. And I got in fights almost every day. And uh, it had an effect on my uh, on my mind. And it challenged me. And I uh, found myself reacting and, and having racist thoughts. And it has been a journey to work on this and to look more honestly and uh, that stuff is in there and you have to work to get it out and you can't lie to yourself about it and that's what this play is for me and when I took the job I said I want to work on that every day and I want to help audiences to, to look inside their own hearts and then they can have conversations <coughs> like this but conversation to me is important but it's more important that people look in and be honest with themselves in their own private conversation.